Hello artists, today I'm going to be teaching you about some different techniques for working with colored pencils. We're going to be working on coloring with great craftsmanship and one of the, the things we're going to work on to develop our craftsmanship is blending the colors together. So the first way I'm going to show you of blending your colors, we've talked about when we've done value tornadoes. Value means the lightness or the darkness of a color. So with this colored pencil, I'm gonna use a very light amount of pressure. That means that as I'm coloring in, my hand is pressing down on the paper lightly, and that makes the color I create look light. Next, I wanna create a slightly darker version of my color but I'm not going to use a different colored pencil for this. I'll use the same one. What I'm doing differently is I'm pressing a little bit harder onto the paper. I'm using a little bit more pressure to create a darker version of my color. Finally, I'm gonna create the darkest version I can, not by changing colors, but by using a hard pressure. Look at the three different values of light, medium, and dark that I can create using just one colored pencil. Next I'm going to show you how you can create different values not by changing the pressure or how hard you press down, but instead by layering. So here I'm coloring in my box and I'm using that light pressure that I used with my first green box. I have a light value. Now, instead of pressing harder, I'm just gonna put another layer of light pressure on top of the first one and see how the edges of my box are getting darker and they're adding kind of a 3D look. The more layering you do, the more different values you can create. And this is a beautiful way of using craftsmanship when you're coloring in using colored pencils. The last technique I'm going to show you is also using layering, but this time, instead of layering just one color, I'm choosing three colors that are similar to each other. I have a light yellow, a golden yellow, and an orange. I'll start by coloring in my shape with the lightest color, because we always want to color in going from light to dark. Next, I'm gonna color part of my box with my medium color, that golden yellow. And I'm still using light pressure. Finally, on top, I use that orange color going lightly over what I already did to create a beautiful blending. Now let's take a look at how you can use these techniques and add them to your artwork. I'm going to make a simple flower and I'm going to use the layering technique. I'm going to be layering with three different colors. So once again, I start by layering with my lightest color and I'm going to go from light to dark using a light pressure. I'm adding my darker colors near the outsides of my shape because I'm trying to give it a 3D look. And usually when you look at things up close, they're a little bit darker on the edges. Okay artists, I hope you enjoyed learning these colored pencil techniques. And just to remind you, those three techniques were 
using different pressures, layering, and layering different colors. All together, these techniques will help you have great craftsmanship and beautiful art. Have fun creating!